Well, this is certainly not the video I thought would be my first video of 2022, but I wanted to talk about it. Hi guys and happy new year. I'm Alex, if you don't know me, and I like to just do whatever I want to on my channel. I vlog a lot. I do sit down videos. I sometimes do commentary if I feel like it applies to me or I have actually watched um, the person that I'm talking about. But anyway, if you guys enjoy this video or if you want to browse around my other content, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. It would mean the absolute world to me. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the OK Baby breakup. And I will be the first one to say I am not like an ultra fan of them. I never really watched them on a truly consistent basis. Um, I've watched many of their videos, but not consistently and anything like that. I do take the breakup a little hard because they are so close or they were so close to YouTubers that I do genuinely follow and I really like. It's KK and Baby J, you guys know I've met them a few times. Um, I wouldn't call us like friends. I would call us like internet acquaintances, but it is pretty fun um, to know them a little bit more than your average like YouTuber that you watch online. Um, just like in that sort of space. But we do have a lot of, not a lot, but like some mutual friends. I'm not, again, saying that I love OK Baby and like I know everything about them. Um, I know their kids' names. I know them. I know like the pretty basic facts and I've watched like almost all the videos, obviously, when they vlog with Karen and Qua. I just wanted to put that out there before I started talking about this. Am I surprised? I'm not really surprised because we did get a little glimpse of an argument they had when Kira accidentally went live. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So um, we saw that. We already kind of seen some of the behind the scenes and what has happened in their relationship. I feel like they're both very free spirited and I genuinely like that about them. Um, I think they both speak pretty well, especially Kira. I know a lot of people, their opinion is that Kira was like bashing Oscar and being kind of harsh, which in the video, it kind of does come off that way. I don't know if she meant it like that. Um, maybe she did, but I think she was a little harsh, but being a female and being having certain situations, if you are mentally already over something, like you kind of already have that mindset. And I think it just was magnified by the camera being there and everything. So we'll honestly never know. And this just goes to show that social media is so fake because a couple months ago, Kira on Instagram was posting that she did love Oscar and all of this stuff and everything like that. Um, New Year's was a big hint for a lot of people just because um, they weren't spending it together, obviously. So again, that's why it wasn't a big surprise to a lot of people. Um, and then when they released the video, it just like confirmed everything. I feel bad for the kids because it's just something that might, you know, be triggering to them in the future, might be hard on them. And again, everyone, grieves and takes different situations differently. So what Levi might remember and how it'll affect him probably won't affect Aura as much. You know what I'm saying? So again, just the mere impact of the situation can affect the kids. Um, no matter if it's good, bad, less, more, it doesn't really invalidate um, their feelings and what they're going to be, you know, going through. All of their feelings is all important, you know what I mean? Um, I definitely feel sorry for the kids. In some instances, maybe it'll be a better environment because we do know, and it was kind of confirmed in the video that Oscar had some anger issues, so I mean, maybe it will be better for the kids in the long run. Who knows? Again, we're not there. We don't see them. Um, I've only met them in person once, which this is going to make me veer off into a little story time and I'm going to insert some clips um, because I just want to include this because I did meet them um, once and it was so funny because I was walking around the pool at Playlist Live and I wanted to meet people, obviously, and I didn't buy a ticket and the year I didn't buy a ticket, I got to meet like so many people, which is so fun. So I was walking by the pool and I see Oscar and Kira and I think they were with their managers. I was like kind of peering around like thinking it was them and I wanted to meet them. So I basically 
just like whispered, Oscar, Oscar. And um, I think I was kind of peer pressured too because there was like a girl beside me and she was like, yeah, that's them. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna beat the bullet. So I did and I whispered Oscar a couple times and he turned around and then all these people like came flying around to like get a picture, but I'm like, yo, I get a picture first because I'm the one that took one for the team. But they were like so nice and everything. So when I say, oh, I don't know them in person, like I did meet them in person once, but like you don't know a person, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm gonna insert like a clip here. I'm too scared to like go up to them and they're having lunch, so you. you too. Hi vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm the one that disrupted their no, no lunch. Worries. Hi Kira. I'm vlogging I'm, so, your picture? I'm vlogging, but thank you. I'm sorry I oh, interrupted no you. It's okay. It's okay. I just didn't want to be that creepy fan that was just like staring Shit. at you guys yeah, from no. afar. No, so I, I just wanna say hi. hi. Thank okay. you. So that was a clip that I met them at Playlist Live. I know I had like crazy hair. I loved my hair back then. Back on topic. So I do feel sorry for the kids. Also, I wanted to touch on another thing too. I don't think they should be living in the same house broken up with their four kids like I think that could be really confusing for a child it would be confusing and it's still it would still be confusing for the audience just watching when they were like oh uh, we're gonna continue on vlogging and it's gonna be kind of like nothing is that different I'm like over here what what is going on but anyway hey it's their business but I just think that they should find an apartment for either Kira or Oscar just to have that separation um I don't know if they still have their assistant or anything, but I think they should do that just to, you know, have that break, have that real separation um, and draw the line somewhere. That's just my opinion. But yeah, I just, am I shocked at the news? Yes, there's such a high, well, they only have 1.5 million. When I say that, when I say only, I'm just, I'm saying only like that because they're not like Fish Fam or Ace Family or like the LeBrands, which I totally know like really nothing about except for like the Ace Family has a lot of financial problems. So I don't really know them. Like I know more about like the smaller YouTubers, I guess, but I do know a little bit more about OK Baby. So I just wanted to like comment and say, even though I'm like not surprised, but it's such a shock to know and like have it confirmed. You know what I'm saying? Like as a acquaintance viewer, that's the best way I can put it because like, again, I don't watch like every single video. It was just, it's shocking to know that a couple that had been together for so long and see, they did seem to have, and they still do have good chemistry um, together. They have good energy, good chemistry. They're funny. They're really good like performers for the camera, I think. Um, and I think that's why their channel was so successful and like they garnered a good community of people and like had good friends and everything because their energy and their vibe that they put out on camera, whether that's them in real life, which I really do think it's them in real life because the one like two minute interaction I had with them, their energy was so uplifting and positive and like they just seemed to have like good energy. So when you have such strong, and it was like pretty strong too, knowing that their strong energy can be positive, it can also be probably pretty negative. So just the polarizing strongness of their personalities probably isn't the best because you do have to have that one person that is going to, I'm not gonna say submit, but lesser force, you know what I mean? And they seem pretty equal. So I can see we're in a relationship that would be damaging and not the best. Also too, they were so young. Um, this is why even though I always like complain sometimes like, oh, I wish I had a boyfriend. Oh, I wish this, I wish that, you know, I'm still pretty young and they were extremely young when they had Levi. And I just think you don't know what you want when they're, you're that young. I mean, hell, like I don't even know what I want now. I mean, I mean, I do know and I've always known, but like, you don't know, no. You know what I'm saying? Like they didn't have a lot of life experiences before having a child. And I think it's so important for you to have life experiences before that so you can help shape and create a great human being, which I think now they're a little, well, that's too late for them, but I think they're trying to work on that. So looking at this from a positive standpoint, I think they are recognizing that in a way. I don't know, again. Um, a lot of people say they probably should have stopped at the third kid. And I would probably agree with that just because 
I don't know. I think, yeah, having kids is great, but again, they were just so young. I think they should have waited a little longer and especially boiling up to this point. Yeah, I think they should have waited just for everyone's sake in the situation. The kids, Oscar and Kira. I don't know. This is kind of like a sporadic video, but I just wanted to make a comment on it because I don't know. I genuinely wish them the best. Um, I love their free spirit. Like, I could listen to them talk together for like forever. I don't know why. I just like hearing them. I feel like I'm a friend in the room with them. And I think again, that's why they built such a massive audience so quickly. I do care about them. I wish it could have turned out differently. But again, they are, as well as me, we're all just still so young. So I mean, there's just, I mean, it is what it is. And I don't know. But and if I forget anything or whatnot, I'll leave it in the description box down below. I think that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it somewhat. A lot of you guys watch commentary um, because I know I share a lot of subscribers. I think most of my subscribers also watch the DCP Dad Challenge podcast. Um, so that's why I know you guys like this type of content. I like making it. I love making commentary, but I just feel like my thoughts are all over the place, which half the time they are, but I, I like talking about it. and sharing with my audience what I think. Um, well, now I don't know if half my audience watches DCP because like there's some people that really, really don't like him now. So I don't know. Whoever you watch, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, let me know down below if you would want me to make a video about him because I did in the past. Again, Oscar Kira, I wish you guys the best and I hope you work something out that's going to be in the best interest of your kids and stuff. And yeah, so I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.